Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. With the success that I've been having with my deep water culture, I wanted to expand and try some new things. So what I'm going to be doing today is taking this uh, 53 liter um, roughneck tote and converting it into a uh, aeroponic cloner. So uh, all we're going to be needing is this container which was seven dollars, ten feet of tubing which we got from Home Depot and of course a pump and some spray nozzles which will which you'll see uh, how they're going to be be used. I'm not going to bore you guys showing me cutting holes in this uh, Rubbermaid tote or drilling holes in the tubings etc. show you uh, different steps along the way and how it uh, looks when it's, it's uh, working. So um, stay tuned. So here it is inside. As you can see I uh, used a T here to go down here to go down to the leg, here to come across, another one to go down, elbows, and this part here is going to be where I will be attaching my pump. So those nozzles were very easy to put in. Um, just needed a a 532nd uh, drill bit and these actually self-tapped themselves uh, in quite nicely. So uh, I will attach the pump and um, we'll see it running. And there you have it. Very simple. Just slides in um, to that joint and that's all I'm going to worry about. Now the only thing I got to worry left to, to do is uh, this has to, uh, I need to put a notch in this uh, plastic so that I can continue to keep this sealed. Now the nice thing I noticed about these lids is, uh, if you take a look, there's actually a space right here. So I'm uh, only going to cut a notch right here so that um, it's not going to be bowling up here. Okay, we've now got everything assembled and we've got the nutrients added and pH'd. We're going to just do a quick demonstration of what this looks like because it does spray without the cover on it. So here's a quick look at how this is going to leak. As you can see, we're going to get a lot of nice aeration on this. And here we are with the lid showing the holes all drilled and uh, final setup. So we're just going to lay it on, put it onto this bottom shelf that's next to it and start planting some plants. On my last update, I was complaining about how my plants were yellowing. What I'd done was added some Epsom salts to the uh, reservoir and it seems to have helped. The only problem is now you can see my basil is getting it's like a forest in here so I have some friends that want to have some basil. So I'll trim some branches off of this and place it into the aeroponic cloning system. A good candidate for pruning this one will be um, this branch here it's really starting to go uh, quite long and it's overgrowing this system. So what I'm going to cut is, you can see down here, uh, we've got some nice branching occurring and I would like to have this starting to grow to split off and reduce the height a bit. So I'm going to be taking this off right here. Might look drastic, but uh, it needs to have a good cutting. So from this, we're going to prune these off and I'll show you how I'm going to put that into uh, rock wool and place it into the uh, cloning system. Okay, now let's take some of these basil pieces that I've got. Um, what I did last time was I had cloned these plants using um, the uh, Ziploc bag method which is very simple uh, to do and you can see what my results have been. Um, 
basically you cut these at a 45 degree angle and you don't want to leave too many leaves on the side so I'm just going to snip off these uh, smaller pieces and I'm just going to keep a little bit of leaf on here um, you can cut half of this off you just want to have enough leaf to get some photosynthesis going now if I had been doing the previous method of cloning that I had tried I would be taking my rock well rock wool and I would dip this into some rooting compound stick it into here like so and then place it into a Ziploc but I want to try out my new system so what I'm going to do this time is just cut my rock well all I want this rock wool to do is to hold the plant since I haven't purchased any neoprene stoppers like I've seen other guys using so I'm just gonna have this holding it like that with the root or should I say the bottom of the stem showing and um, I'm gonna just stick this into my net pot they've been placed into the rock wool and then I'm leaving enough of the stem that it's extending out beyond the bottom of the, the net pot so I'm uh, hoping this is going to uh, allow the roots to proliferate if you remember from my update a couple of weeks ago I had uh, done some green onions and as you can see these have really taken off and they're doing well still just sitting in this Ziploc bag with a little bit of water take a look at the root structure so I'm going to take this and place this into my uh, cloner as well I want to just see how far I can take these and how high and uh, how much they're going to multiply so that's part of the other experiment we'll be trying now another thing I'm going to be trying that uh, I may not have mentioned before was I have uh, regrown this romaine lettuce from the bottom of uh, a previous one that we had with our Caesar salad um, two weeks ago and actually if you it was actually cut down to exactly like that so in the last two weeks this was just sitting in a bowl of water um, inside our kitchen window and it's coming up really nice the coloring is is just beautiful the only thing is is there's no roots developing and um, so I think this is going to be a good candidate to put into my cloner as well so all I'm doing with this I'm just going to drop that in put some hydrogen around it and it's going in as well I'll be doing that with this one as as well see how that uh, see how that works and there we have it I've uh, got what I want started in my cloner here for this uh, next few weeks we've got some uh, Genovese basil starting here some cinnamon basil some Thai basil some more Thai basil and some mammoth basil um, here's the romaine lettuce that I've started from the core of our previously one so this is all regrown looking quite happy actually um, there's a couple of pepper plants can't remember which ones they are just off the top of my head and I've started another green onion um, from from a regrow this is only about an inch long when I cut this one and that's my update for this week now that I have this I'm sure I'll be thinking up of some new projects to start
Take care.